Sorry. Sorry. Producer oh. standing there, but yeah. Hi guys. Hi. Boo. Boo. <laughs> we boo them because they don't tell us anything about this show. They only say, okay, come to IKEA. Confirm that one, Boo. Yeah, confirm like... We cannot eat what we buy one. Yeah, confirm. Actually, not very often, but I know what they have. I eat the meatballs Meatball. often. So today, we will be spending $100 at IKEA or IKEA. You want anything from the... Always just saying that. Confirm you cannot eat the thing you pick one. Ah, okay. Hey, confirm, yeah. I can't eat the confirm, one. You know so, them, one. Yeah. Is that a lot? Yeah, a lot. 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 A Okay, let's go. I have a bad feeling. Uh. Because I can't eat shit from here, right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, by the way, the gummy quite nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. The gummy quite nice. Yeah, the gummy nice. Yeah, the gummy nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The gummy nice. Yeah, the gummy nice. As you can see, I'm a fan. Yeah, not official merch, but yeah. Hello, producer. Producer, ignore me. Producer, producer, producer. What tip you have, producer? Right. I would suggest not crossover. As in, what crossover? Got crossover, man. Yeah, no, she's not gonna buy me more. Ah. I don't think she's gonna buy me more. Later. Amanda! Amanda! Don't buy! Don't buy me more! <laughs> you don't, don't buy me more! Don't buy what? Oh, okay. Okay, so I need to strategize a bit because I only got $50, right? A lot of the things are like more than $10, you know? A lot of things. There's a lot of things like $6.90, $11.50, $5, $3, $8. 3, 2, 1. Go. <laughs> 15 minutes. <laughs> okay, my strategy is right. Um, just queue first. Okay, uh, okay, okay, wait, take. Ah! Blueberry drink. It says with a pinch of cardamom, I shall get it. I got four chicken wings here! Okay, get the crayfish in chi chili crab sauce. Take away! Eh, it's mala sauce ah? Okay, you can. Oh, they got this. I've always wanted to eat this. Soup. Okay, which one should I get? Mushroom or salmon? I think I'll get... Yeah, mushroom very common ah. I get salmon. Uh, I think not much left leh. Oh wait, oh, but they still have! Hey, yeah, I don't know how much I spent. Hello. How much is this? Um, can I get one lamb chop and one curry chicken? Uh, both take away. We're going to the bistro. There's a very big wiener. Yay, I'm done. Okay, so we are back at the studio, but what we really want to know is, Why what's the twist? twist? Wait, we leak everything first. Viewers yes. save us. Ah. Yeah, thank you, viewers. I also share the same sentiments. Okay, now we try the hot food first. Yay, finally we can try things that we actually choose. Yeah. Offensive side eye. At first, I thought mine like should be quite simple, but then IKEA has like, let's say the chicken wing, right? Then you can choose like two is how much, mm. four is how much. I was like, shit, I don't even know how much I had. Then the math cannot math. I got like two pastries, three things from the non halal side, and two things from the halal side. Oh, okay. that's good. Yeah. Wow, she still bothered to math, eh? I never, I just gave the I producer an anxiety attack. Eh? The producer just asked the other producer, what if Amanda exceeds this budget? Then, oh, too bad. <laughs> First of all, the number one classic. I think most people who have gone to IKEA have had this before. I freaking love this, eh? Yeah. Can I just admit something? Before this, I ate another 10 meatballs. But I can eat like at least 30, I think. 
What did he say? Just the ball, not with the vegetables. Are you serious? No, that's the thing. Yeah, it doesn't need more eating. <laughs> of course, the food, ah. Of course, Need we food. say more? Mm. The next basic one that everybody orders when they are in IKEA. Chim can wings. Yay! Yay. Cheers. 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 <laughs> Question: Do you like the the wing or do you like the drum? The wing. Same. It's them nice. Honestly, they're better, right? It's very fragrant. They're better. Yeah. Then uh, got a cha also. Mm. Sweet. So juicy. Eh. Very oily also, but. Ooh. It's like worth your calories, man. I got think whether I should buy all these, these two like most common items. But I feel like if I come back without buying these two, it's a bit like Correct. missing the point. Now this you also sell it at the bistro, so like you don't need to go into the restaurant. Waiting. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so one of the things that I bought like, is also the garlic bread, which looks like that. Oh, it's very hard, eh? Oh my god. I found this in the cabinet. Eh. Oh, I think it's made with wholemeal bread actually. actually Ooh, it smells nice. Oh. That smells great. Oh. You didn't skimp on the garlic. No, 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 no. Honestly, okay. feel a bit like you can make at home. Okay, um, but I want to let's try the try with the soup or something. I think the producer had a heart attack just now when I took this frozen soup. But oh, this is frozen. Ah. It's frozen soup. But I was quite curious because it's like those packaged soup. You know, go soup spoon. Mm. Yeah, that kind of packaged soup. So. Usually this kind is a like hit or miss, so okay, yeah. Okay, this, I chose the salmon oh, chowder. Oh, salmon chowder. Okay lah. Yeah, this one is a bit lumpery nose. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Oh, this is very fishy. Oh, I'm very okay with fishy taste. I just don't think I can eat a very big bowl of it. Mm. Cause it's just a bit too much. It's very gelat. Mm. I think only buy it if you're super into salmon. Yeah. Because it's like really like hot on like salmon taste. I'm a bit disappointed because it's one of my more expensive purchases. The texture reminds me of porridge. Oh yeah. Mm. It's not really a soup la. If they soak a smaller portion of it, mm. then they say like oh one one bowl, three fifty that kind. Mm. Okay la. Seven fifty a bit much eh. Honestly, not great. Um I will give it like a like that. Same as the garlic bread. Oh uh, yes. Mm. So like Next. Crayfish and spaghetti with mala sauce. Okay, we tried the spaghetti first. They said organic spaghetti. Eh. Organic oh, one eh. Organic eh. Wow. Oh, oh no, it's in wire. It's <laughs> oh, so spicy eh. Mm. Oh no. Mm. Oh, very spicy. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> I appreciate that it's not noir, but coupled with like the seasoning on top, it gives a very rough texture. It feels like eating a telephone wire. But it is quite numbing, to be quite honest. Yeah, you see ah, this is the head. This is the body, where the meat is. That's the body. <laughs> I think we're not good during like pizza. We're so really like this. Apani, it's so small. Oh, don't worry, it has very good personality. Honestly, right, if I eat a I pasta eat dish, right, I don't want to get my hands dirty. You know, at the restaurant, then you like pluck, pluck, pluck. Very, the payoff very small. Yeah, <laughs> the payoff very yeah. lousy for something yeah. that looks so grand. Because when you eat prawns, right, sometimes when you eat prawns with no flavouring or like no seasoning, it's still very nice because you have the sweetness mm, of the prawn. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, same for crab. Sometimes you eat steamed crab, it's very nice. And this one is like, the meat too small to even have a taste. Eh? Yeah. Nah. Sorry. I went over the house like, not knowing what to expect. <laughs> when I reached there, only got like maybe 3-4 things. Uh -huh. So I was like, hmm, lamb chop. Okay, it's actually quite tender. Considering the fact that we brought it back and then like, it has been a couple of hours. The meat is still quite tender. I don't even need a knife to cut it. Okay, come, come, come. I think it's not that bad. I think it's not that bad. Eh? Mm. On it. And usually I don't like lamb because of the gamey taste. Yeah, but I think this is acceptable. Okay, and I did see that before they serve it to me, they also go and take a gravy which look like the meatball gravy. Mm. Yeah, okay, yeah, 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 I think yeah. it's the meatball gravy. So I think, okay, that is like plus points because I really like that gravy. Mm. Honestly, for a non-lamb eater, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Yeah. Plus it comes with like the standard bunch of things like the vegetables, veggies and the mashed potatoes. A bunch of assort sorted vegetables. Below chop dollar. Okay right, for lamb chop. Not bad. Yeah. So this is chicken curry with nasi kuning. This looks like it was lovingly made by a makcik at a lovely store that has been standing around for like 20 years. Yeah, but you must eat like hot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's soggy already. Okay, but not bad. I like it when there's curry. So let's yeah, same. Okay, okay, okay. okay Although nice, it's cold, nice, nice, it's nice. nice. The main character moment. Mm. Ah! Wow, the chicken mm. quite tender. Sister, this one got more flavour than the crayfish la. Mm. Goodness gracious. Oh, no, the chicken is so kind of big la. Mm. Like, actually so far this has been the... The most worth it. Mm. 
And it's the cheapest, right? Yes. No yeah. count the chicken wing, right? Anyway, this is recommended. Totally recommended. Okay, so like basically, right, the bun is just the same as the regular one dollar hot dog. The okay. bun, but they have is a veggie option. Or? Is it like nacho cheese? Yeah, something? with nacho okay, cheese. Okay, not that bad. Ah. This is only a tofu. Uh. Mm. Huh? Mm. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. But it's definitely not something I will order again. <laughs> but nice <laughs> that they have a plant-based option. Uh. The veggie dog itself is like a bit noah. They have the meat consistency. It's just, you know. Yeah. Let me tell you what. Uh, let me just try the meat itself without. Oh! Oh my god! It's an actual, like I said, an actual piece of vegetable in there. Wah! It's like broccoli. Hey, the broccoli stem. I think it's really just a mesh of veggies. It doesn't have the green taste. But I think the texture is not the best. It's just soft plus soft. Okay, yep. We okay. are. This one is what? Cinnamon bun ah? Yeah, cinnamon bun. Oh! Oh! Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. The best kind is when it's hot, right? Then you eat and then you must hoo ha ha one. Yeah. Oh, chow. The smell is a bit off-putty. I don't know why the cinnamon smell is so strong. But when you eat it, it's less bad. There's this like chai, mm. a very strong chai taste, <laughs> which I hate. Oh. So, <laughs> okay, oh. like, let it. Let it. <laughs> so we have a beef pie here. Okay. Beef pie. Oh, oh. there's quite a lot of liao inside. Not the liao. Got gravy all there. Yeah. It's not dry. Okay, the pastry is extremely flaky. Ooh. It's the kind that you eat already, then your whole floor will have ends. Hey, but nice eh? It's, a, it's like a Danish pastry. There's mushrooms, there's beef, there is carrots. The beefy taste quite strong. Mm. Mm. So if you are the kind that you don't like the beefy, a bit gamey taste, you might not like it. But I think if you like shepherd's pie, you'll like this. Mm. Slightly salty, yeah. Yes, slightly salty. Mm. Yeah. I, I would think that they would do better with it. Uh, yeah. 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 yeah, but it's not it's not a bad one. Not a bad one. Mm. Compared to some other stuff. Right. I saw these two. They are both one dollar something. They have other flavors like pear. This is not a milk drink lah. This is a fruit drink. Yeah, this is a fruit uh, drink. Honey. Oh, it's a whole sticker. Oh, oh. I can smell it. The whole very big. Where's the straw? <laughs> the straw. <laughs> My straw. The straw no more. Oh no, the straw has become part of the. Oh no, it went inside. <laughs> the whole very big. Not bad. It's quite nice and eh? okay. Yeah. I need to say because right, not everywhere got blueberry drink. Yes, correct. Strawberry drink, I think maybe yeah. still have, but blueberry drink though. Can I just read out the ingredients? Okay. Water, sugar, blueberry juice, four <laughs> percent. <laughs> That's the rest of it, is what, uh? Choke berry juice. <laughs> oh my god, I like it. Not bad, right? I not like bad, it. Right? Choke berry is also purple color one. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> oh. This is like medicine! A bit of oh, medicine, dear. Okay, let me read the ingredients. <laughs> okay. Water, sugar, strawberry juice, elderberry juice, wild strawberry 0.5%. Okay, wild strawberry aroma, acid. I must say the blueberry and the strawberry is worlds apart. Yeah, if you try, I think this are more unique. For me, the blueberry is a Not bad. Strawberry is like that. <laughs> oh, mine is like that. Apple, strawberry and... A pinch of cardamom. Hey, but this is the kind of thing that when I see, I come and buy. It tastes like the apple juice that you drink on the airplane. Mm, not nice. bad. Not bad. A bit sweet though. But okay. Okay. Question. Which one you prefer? I cannot choose. This one I will both buy. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. Wow. I will choose this. Wow, that's nice. Right. Okay. I freaking love apple juice, by the way. Next, we have a muffin from their bakery. Mmm. Mm. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I thought the centre will have something like lava come out or what. I must say right, the chocolate chips, quite big eh. Mm. It's not those like you do baking shop then you buy those like mm. wah, the sprinklers or whatever. I think the muffin itself is not too like dry. Mmm, I like it. Not bad. That's like for me eh. mm. I don't eat muffin one. This is some chocolate cheese thing. Honestly, ah. I didn't know that I took this. I think this could be flaky again. There's like chocolate sauce inside. The chocolate filling right inside right, it's like flowy. It's not hardened. Mm. Plus, can I just say, right, the chocolates that they use for both this pastry as well as the muffin, right, it's not the regular chocolate chip. It's like got slight hazelnut taste. Mm. Not bad, eh? I decided to go with this because it's a cheese cheese tart. Not as salty as I thought it would be. Then the milk powder taste. Mm. Okay, but the cheese inside is still flowy even though it's not hot. I think it's just a very milky cheese. La. Yeah, I would like it to be a bit salty. Oh, okay. Yeah, I like salty cheese. It's not bad, well, okay, I'm quite. 
<laughs> this was supposed to be in like the frozen section. This one is a bit more nougat -y. Wow, it's um, tad sweet. Mm. I think the other was like, whoa, oh, and then I don't know, and somehow I felt like, yeah. well, that would be very interesting, but then end up it tastes quite normal. Like a normal chocolate. Hey, 11.50 for one whole cake, I don't know bad. Eh. Mm, okay, I'll give it like mm. Same. Aligned. It's okay. Ooh! Hey, hello! <gasps> what is this? this? Look at this shrink they make, they, they make it shorter. <laughs> they put the extra plastic underneath so that they so can avoid what? giving you one, one extra. <gasps> it tastes like granola. Mmm, yeah. It has the texture of you know, the Cereal. oatmeal, raisin, that kind of cookie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like that. Like that. Like, Tilt down. Tilt down. So this is the last one. I kept it for the last one because this is seven dollar and fifty cent. You know, so I I'm it. dead. Sour cream onion. Taste like sour cream onion. Okay, to be fair, ranch itself also tastes like sour cream. That kind, yeah. And quite well salted. Mm, I like the texture. The, with the price, is a bit like that, lah. Mm -hmm. But. Oh, okay. Okay. I think one thing I like about Ikea's restaurant is it is always like rotating. Yeah. The seasonals are always rotating. Mm. So you can always have like a surprise when you go there. Yeah, and I think they try to include um, all kinds of mm. like cuisine or food. Lah. Especially the Singaporean flavours. I also do know that they have Western options also, but they also rotate. Yeah, correct. Yeah, so it's like quite cool. So I quite like their frozen food section because they also bring in like Swedish snacks. Mm. Like all these are all Swedish snacks and I think it's quite cute. There are some things that somehow you can only find at IKEA. Mm. <laughs> like like so, all these I never see. So I always else. look forward to a few things that you go to IKEA, yeah. right? Oh, the nasi kuning I think not bad. The uh, curry chicken and nasi kuning. The classics are always the classics, la, like the meatball. I think and the, the classics you all know already. Yeah, Just everybody knows. Continue know. to go there and eat. Like shout out a little bit to the lamb chop. I think not bad. Eh? Yeah. Like I thought that it was quite value for money and that for people who don't really eat lamb chops, we thought that it was really decent. I think their bakery is not bad. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, okay, oh my god, yeah. I thought that the muffin was really quite nice. I was quite impressed. For my end, when I went to the cookbook place, $50 got me like quite a bit of food. Mm. That was impressive, I forgot to mention. Thank you for watching this episode of Spending $100 at IKEA. If you like this video, check out more over there. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye! IKEA, Bye. IKEA. Bye.